Now then my friends, I am at Diddly Squat Farm Shop and Restaurant. Yes, the Diddly Squat Farm Shop and Restaurant owned by the one and only Jeremy Clarkson. Now you either love or hate Jeremy Clarkson, but the one thing that you cannot do is ignore him. Now, I've been here before, but I've only ever really reviewed a burger. So this time I'm back to do a proper grand tour of Diddly Squat Farm Shop and Restaurant. And when I say grand tour, well that is pun intended my friends, because there is about to be a new episode of the Grand Tour drop on Amazon Prime with Jeremy Clarkson, James May and Richard Hammond my friends so it's quite apt. Now the big question is does this place live up to the hype or is it one big marketing ploy to make Jeremy Clarkson even richer and even more smug than he already is? Well, we're about to go and find out my friends. Now, if you're new to the channel, please do hit the subscribe button and click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. as Clarkson would say, a jag. It's okay because he's got a jag. <laughs> a jag. A jag. <laughs> Come on. Well, I've got to tell you, it's literally 25 past 11 in the morning and this place is absolutely packed out. There's cars parked all down the road there. There's uh, not much parking inside here. The last time I was here, you was able to park on this area, but they seem to have roped it off this time. Uh, so less parking on the inside this time. There is a massive, massive queue to, to get into the farm shop itself. I reckon it's gonna be about an hour to get in there. Uh, I'm thinking I may just queue up just to go in and have a look uh, and get some video footage of it so uh, I might be here a while so make sure you give us that thumbs up and then round the back there was a restaurant and a place where you could get burgers and a bite to eat uh, I might do that first and then queue up and go in after because I'm a little bit peckish at the moment uh, and I need a little drink and a little bite to eat a little snack at so uh, let's take a look around anyway but it's absolute madness here and I can tell you it's only going to get even bigger busier as the day goes on.
Right, I tell you what I'm actually going to order because I've just seen a couple over there and it looks absolutely gorgeous. They've ordered the ploughman's lunch. Looks healthy, it looks nice. So I'm going to give that a go. It looks really, really nice. Uh, and I might have a cup of coffee as well uh, with some uh, with some cow juice. So there we go. Looking forward to this. Right, can I have uh, the uh, ploughman's lunch, please? Uh, I'll have one of them uh, track the biscuits as well, please. Uh, and a coffee with some uh, with some cow juice. Uh, the cow juice is over there, isn't it? Brilliant. Uh, you don't do strawberries as well, do you? Not just strawberries. No, that's in, in, in there. Yeah, I've had it in the shop, I think. Uh, you do strawberries and ice cream, though, do you as well? We, have, we do soft serve ice cream, and strawberry sauce on the top. And maybe. you get strawberry sauce on the top. Uh, I'll come back for that, so I'll just take that for now, then, thank you. Looking forward to this. Right, so I've got my coffee. Uh, I'm going to pop in a bit of uh, normal coffee there. I'm going to pop in some of this. Uh, oh, we got there. We go cow juice. Cow juice, a bit odd, isn't it? He's got bee juice as well. Pop in the milk there. There we go. Uh, there you go. Got some wording on the back. Have a look. Right, so I went for the ploughman's, I went for the coffee uh, with the uh, cow juice in there, got a little biscuit as well, uh, and it come to a total of £18.75. Uh, there's my little biscuit as well, tractor biscuit. Uh, I'll eat that uh, with my coffee. Oh, I'm buzzing already. There we go. So I'm going go uh, to go and get my ploughman's. I'll be back in a minute. Right, so I've got my ploughman's lunch here, got some meat in here, I think that's ham, uh, got some pork pie, uh, got uh, an onion there, pickled onion, got some tomatoes, lettuce, uh, a little bit of celery there, got some bread, some cheese, what else have we got under there, pork pie looks good, I did put a little bit of brown sauce on there as well, there's your pork pie, just check that out, looks quite nice actually, uh, but before we go any further, just take a closer look my friends. Right, also got an apple in here as well. Uh, gonna have a look at the bread first, to see whether it's fresh or not. Seems quite fresh, quite nice. Have a taste of the bread. Very tasty. Now, gonna go in for my favorite here, which is pork pie. Now learn from this, people of Yorkshire, that is cold pork pie, but not warmed up. Uh, Yorkshire seem to pop it in the uh, oven and warm it up all the time. Got your jelly there on the outer. Wow, that is very, very nice, I've got to say. I love a ploughman's lunch. Nothing better in this weather as well. Got the apple there. Mm. Absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Now then, excuse me, speaking with my mouth full, but I'm going to look. I'm going to get a little bit of this pickle on there, on the bread. Mmm. Absolutely gorgeous. What more do you want on a summer's day? Get a little bit of cheese. I just want to read the thing. Beautiful. Right. I'll eat this, come back to you and then we'll mark it out of 10. Check out the view while I'm eating this, it's beautiful.
Right, I've got to tell you, that was absolutely excellent. What a what a thoroughly enjoyable ploughman's lunch that was. I've not had that for years since I was in the Lake District, years and years ago. And what a day to choose to have that as well. Right outside here, beautiful day. Great views there, uh, fantastic. The only thing uh, I'm missing is a beer, but I'm not drinking uh, now. I've uh, given that up, so we are gone for a coffee instead with the uh, with the cow juice. Everyone else has got the uh, the beer though, uh, which is uh, you know making me a little well. I would have had a cider, I think, today anyway. But we've gone for a coffee and we've gone for a tractor biscuit as well. And uh, let's try the coffee out with the with the with the uh, cow juice. Not bad coffee, actually. Let's try the tractor biscuit. Mmm, very chewy. Right, I'll eat this, have a wander around, and see whether I can pluck up the courage to go and uh, stand in the queue to get in the farm shop, which is about an hour's wait. So, uh, but I'm here, might as well do it. I don't normally do queues, but uh, I said I'd show you around, so we'll head over there in a moment. Mmm, they've got ice cream as well. Might have to have one of them before I leave. Mm. And it looks like I've come on the right day because uh, they're filming the TV show as well, so we uh, might get a glimpse of Jeremy Clarkson. Who knows? Hmm. Right, I've got to tell you, I actually really, really enjoyed that. And the coffee, I normally only drink like lattes and milky coffees, but thoroughly enjoyed that coffee it was really really good the biscuit was the cookie was great as well the biscuit fantastic plowman's was a 10 out of 10 for me especially with the weather and the view i mean what more do you want anyway let's get around the front uh, get in the get in the shop i don't really like doing queues but we're here i told you i'd give you the grand tour so come on onwards my friends Right, so it's quarter past 12. I'm guessing it's gonna be about an hour's wait, but we'll see. Uh, I don't even know what I'm gonna buy. I've gotta buy something, I guess, when I'm in there. I'm not just gonna go in. We'll have a look and uh, see what it's all about. See what's the big attraction uh, to, to have a queue like this. It's crazy, isn't it? So it's half past 12 now, we're uh, almost there. I reckon another 15, 20 minutes now. Loads of uh, people yeah, writing on the wall here as well. So bring yourself a little biro or a Sharpie and get your, uh, make your mark on the wall. Right, so we're almost in now. It took about 30 to 35 minutes uh, to queue up, so uh, hopefully it's worth the wait. Let's go and find out.
Well, there you go. Half an hour to 35 minutes. Didn't buy anything. I was going to buy a candle, but what was it, 22 quid for a candle that smells like his whatever? Uh, ow, that's hot. Anyway, I think I might go and have an ice cream around the back. It was uh, worth it just to show you guys uh, what it's like in there. But Diddley Squat Farm Shop. I mean, come on, 22 quid for a candle that smells like his manhood? Not sure about that. Come on, onwards. Right, so I've got myself a uh, cow juice ice cream, £4.50, with some strawberry sauce on it. It's really nice ice cream actually, that is absolutely gorgeous. I'm having a great day actually so far, and I've got to tell you again by the way, that uh, Ploughman's was excellent and the ham was glazed in uh, bee juice as well. Uh, I've just read it on the menu in there. I'm going to finish this and then we'll uh, round it up at the front. And I'll tell you what I think of it and whether it's worth visiting. See you guys in a minute. Hmm. I mean, I've had more expensive ice cream than that. £4.50. Look at the size of that. Blimey. Right, so let's wind this up, shall we? So Diddley Squat Farm Shop and Restaurant. Well, it's not really a restaurant, is it? But it's outdoor seating with the uh, food that you can uh, have. But I've got to tell you this. Um, the food was absolutely excellent. The ploughman's lunch was a 10 plus. It really was nice. And that bee juice glazed ham was fantastic. I loved it. I, I absolutely adored it. I really did. I thought it was fantastic and uh, what better day to enjoy a ploughman's on than this day. I mean an English summer's day you can't beat it right here in the Cotswolds. Absolutely fantastic. Now then uh, the ice cream was fantastic. Loved the ice cream. It's some of the best ice cream I've actually had, I've got to say. And it wasn't overly expensive to say it's here uh, at Jeremy Clarkson's farm. I've had, uh, I paid more than that at the weekend. And uh, it was absolutely gorgeous. The coffee as well, I'm going to say that's some of the best, if not the best coffee that I've, that I've had that isn't a latte or anything like that. Just a normal coffee with the, with the cow juice in it. Fantastic, a 10 plus for that as well. The farm shop itself, would I, would I recommend the farm shop? If you want to go and get yourself an overpriced souvenir or whatever, then yeah, go to the farm shop or whatever, but or have a look inside if that's what uh, you want to do. But for me, I could come here, have a ploughman's, have a burger or whatever. I've, I've had the burger here as well in a previous video and that was a 10 as well. 
thoroughly enjoyed it. It's quality produce. So for me, I think it's worth it for that. If you've got a nice day and you want a nice day out, then that is worth it. Uh, the food is excellent. And uh, if you want to, if you drink beer or whatever, come down and have a Hawkston's lager or a cider or, or a, a gin and tonic, whatever takes your fantasy. Absolutely fantastic. Plenty of seating. Uh, you, you'll manage to get parked outside somewhere. So uh, there we go. For me, is it worth visiting? Yes, 100%. As I say, if you want to go in the shop and you want to spend half an hour, you know, just queue up for half an hour and go inside and have a look. If you're here and you've come all this way, you might as well, you might as well go in, and, and you? So there you go. Jeremy Clarkson, uh, you know, keep it up. I've lined his pocket with another, what, tw tw 20 odd quid or two? I don't know. Anyway, there is, I'm sure he's not made that much for me. I think personally, price wise for the ice cream and the ploughman's for the quality of stuff and the coffee as well, definitely worth it that's all from me today do me a favor if you are new to the channel please do hit the subscribe button click the little bell for notifications of when i upload new videos and i'll see you guys in the next one and i have to say is it the best farm shop i say it's the best farm shop in the world goodbye <laughs>